full disclosure, the voice you are listening to now is artificially generated, brought to you by Satisphonic.com. See the link in the description for more details. Men who suddenly lost your interest in someone but for a weird reason, what was it? She accused me of cheating on her in a past life. Well, did you? I told her I don't remember that. Sounds like something someone who cheated in a past life would say. A elderly gentleman fell in front of us. He took a nasty fall. She found it hilarious. Instead of helping, she just stood there laughing. I helped that person out, and I felt so embarrassed for her behavior. Also, that was the last time I saw her. It was a major turnoff for me. That's downright evil. Every time I would stand close to her, I could smell piss. I thought maybe she was going through her periods or some UT, but the smell was consistent for days and very strong. I just couldn't associate such a pretty face with such smell, so I backed up. Also, some people say, I have a strong sense of smell, so that could be it as well. UT maybe, poor hygiene maybe, or it could be that she was on drugs. People that take mephedrone smell like cat piss, the reason it's called meow, meow, on the street. What baffled me the most, that she was very well put together in general. Clean clothes, nice hair, good makeup, and all in all, well put. Don't know what was down there. The way she treated her children, her boy was permitted everything and her daughter had to follow very strict rules. I invited the girl from my psych course I'd been vibing with to a party. Her car rolled up and I came out to greet her, but it was a dude's car, and she was drunkenly making out with him as I walked up. I didn't flip out or anything, but she slurred her way through some weird attempt at reassuring me that I shouldn't worry, cause she was only sleeping with him to punish him because he was a bad guy. Apparently, that's a thing she does, and that I was a good guy. I didn't ask what happened to good guys. I felt bad for her date, whom she completely ignored the rest of the night. As for the girl, she ended up totally engrossed with the party host's gerbil, tapping on the glass of its cage, whispering how she wanted to kill it. I found somewhere new to sit in psych class for the rest of the semester. This one is actually so unhinged sounding. For real, it was some Patrick Bateman. Level shit too, cause I had no previous indication, and there were literally professional headshots of her in the hallways and college brochure, cause she was on the college's student council. I started dating this girl and realized she took two minute showers and didn't really clean herself. She would stand under the water and effortlessly rub soap on herself like a child. It's almost as if she hated showers. Never once saw her scrub her feet or anything. Nonetheless, she didn't wipe the best either after taking a dump, and I'd be lying if I said there wasn't lingering poop smells during sex. Hygiene is important, my friend. Nothing better than someone who loves to take care of themselves. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't lingering poop smells during sex. UW. She kept buying me stuff. It was nice at first, but she kept doing it weekly and demanded I give gifts in return. I asked her to stop, and she said, nope, this is what I do. Felt like she didn't even care about what I wanted. I'd been talking to this girl in class I thought was really cool. We ended up going for a bite after class one day, and she suggested we go hang out in my dorm room. Hell yeah. Then she took off her glasses, and she looked exactly like my mo. It was so jarring, I excused myself to the bathroom to regroup. But when I came back, I couldn't unsee my mom's face on her. I made some lame excuse and went back alone. I felt bad about bailing on her, but I also how the hell would I tell her the real reason? Either she thinks I'm a weirdo, or thinks I'm saying she looks like she's in her 50s. A guy at a party once told me I looked like his mum. Then he tried to make out with me. Was it your son? The glasses stay on during sex. It's pretty hot fixed. They smelled wrong. I did this, tried explaining to my friend, and they kept insisting that the person didn't smell bad. I couldn't get my friend to understand that it wasn't bad, just wrong. Something about their smell was just not right. Still not sure how else to explain it, and I've never experienced it since. There are scent profiles, which people can pick up on, and the more you like someone's scent, the more genetically different their immune systems tend to be from your. Women are particularly sensitive to this, and partners who smell better to their partner have better relationship happiness and more frequent sex. That's really interesting. I always gravitate towards men that smell good, but no one else can notice the smell. I don't like cologne, so it's not their cologne. They just smell like comfort and love. It just smell like comfort and love. I can't to explain it.
It's actually a thing. If someone smells attracted to you, it's because they are genetically different than you, which would lead to better offspring, etc. I learned about it in biology in high school 20 odd years ago, and it just made so much sense. Why the girl at school everyone found hot just didn't smell right to me. I've heard about this, like the sibling scent thing. Females with brothers are often repulsed by the smell of their siblings' bedroom. Never thought it, it related to absolute random people you're not related to. I may have to look further into it. Some people also have horrific hygiene, their room busts in that misfortune of sense. My mate goes to the girl simply because he didn't like her cadence when she spoke. Imagine dating someone who spoke like Obama when he first started giving presidential speeches. My darling, tonight has been the best night so far. The dinner was absolutely spectacular. And even though the waiter was slow, I was happy because it gave me all the more time. <laughs> now let me be perfectly clear. The casserole, amazing. She spat in her hands and rubbed them together because she needed to wash them. I cannot describe the colossal speed at which that switch turned off. Was she some sort of 1930s farmhand or construction worker? Switch turned off. I think that tripped the circuit breaker. I don't think you understand the colossal speed at which you were about to get whacked off. This whole thing is like a Seinfeld episode generator. This was me, but heard from a family member about their co-worker. Apparently, this guy was happily married with kids for years, then had a stroke. Sadly, he instantly hated his wife and his kids and got a divorce. Complete personality change at work too. That, as a husband and father, scares me if it happens to us. Heard a similar story from a co-worker. Woman got a brain tumor and her whole personality changed. She split up from her husband and was being really vile during the whole process. Had the operation and was back to being the lovely person she'd been before. I read somewhere that tumors in a certain area of the brain, can't remember which region, are colloquially known in the medical field as the asshole tumor because of personality changes like you describe. That would be a really heartbreaking situation to be in, knowing that it's not their fault at still being treated horribly by a loved one. I'm told something similar happened with my maternal grandmother before she passed. I was too young to really remember, but family members described her having a stroke and becoming an unrecognizable asshole overnight. Jesus fuck, take it from me, do not google asshole tumor. I need to go lie down. Maybe putting brain in that search would have garnered more. Stroke brain. Many people's personalities change after a stroke. Yeah, my dad went from being an asshole to a nice guy after his stroke. And my ex's mum, she went from a lovely and caring woman to a really mean, jealous, impatient, judgmental, scary lady after her two strokes. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. Best movie to watch about how brain damage can change a person regarding Henry. My husband suffered a T-by in a car accident. The man that I loved and adored died that day. When he woke up from a six-week coma, he was so different. My husband was diagnosed with an oligodendroglioma, right frontal lobe, in 2005, when the kids were 6,810 and 12. He survived surgery and radiation, had to relearn all motor memory, walking, crawling, shaving, etc., was emotionally a child teenager, had no short-term memory, said everything he thought, moved up and down unregulated, had no filter. He was verbally, emotionally, and physically abusive. My son at age 17 called police for domestic violence, and he had to leave. He didn't want to be there. He wanted to move to Arizona and use his telescope. He took as much as he could during the divorce, blamed me for all that he was guilty of, and had no memory of the actual facts. I was with him for 30 years. I couldn't leave him despite the abuse, but he was a abuse because I was trauma upon it. My son freed me. It cost me everything in the divorce, but the last eight years without him has given me peace and solitude. He was a nightmare for 10 years post surgery. I am currently care giving for a woman going through similar things with her husband who has dementia. He apparently killed their 15 year old dog and denies it. My ex as a psychopath with a brain tumor, she feels she is in a similar situation. It is pure hell being married to someone who changes suddenly. No one can really grasp how trapped the caregiver is. Oh, this is so sad. My best friend growing up started acting like a total bitch one day when we were 12. 
I remember telling my mom about it because we were so close and it just wasn't like her at all. I wrote it off as her not feeling well that day. But the behavior continued, and after about a year of it, I cut her off, thinking maybe puberty was hitting her like a truck. About six months after that, sh about six months after that, she had an aneurysm. She survived, but had to have major brain surgery. She became nice again, but the damage to our friendship was kind of done, and we never got close again. It was a really horrible relationship, even this aside, but my wow, I think I actually hate this person moment was when we were at Badlands National Park. We were just walking out of the gift shop with some other woman when she just let go of the door and it like slammed into that woman's face. I said to her, Omgi, I'm so sorry then. When we got to the car, I said to my G Finn, like a joking tone, I can't believe he you didn't hold the door for her haha. <laughs> And because she was a very, very miserable person, all the time this makes her mad, and she goes, well, you're the man you're supposed to hold the door. I don't need to hold the door for anybody, and yea, that one statement alone was very eye-opening for me. Seriously, the easiest, least heartbreaking breakup I've ever gone through. I see you've met my current girlfriend. Run. Run. I like how the word run standing alone comes with a soundtrack, at least for me. Stroke brain. Many people's personalities change after a stroke. Her ditzy and naive behavior was really cute at first, but eventually I found out she really was that dumb and dating her would be exhausting. Same. I knew I had to break it off when I realized I didn't want to take her out of town for the weekend, mainly because of the hours I'd have to spend with her in the car. I cannot stress the importance of car ride compatibility enough for a successful relationship. With Jeeps, people will never know the tension of a relationship with someone that prefers not to drive, but also cannot read a map. She didn't hold the door open to people, just meeting her at the door, would let it slam on people behind her, didn't do the little thank you wave to other cars that let her out, didn't say please and thank you to serving staff. She wasn't overtly rude, she just had a bit of a me, me, me vibe. These are the exact things that turn me off completely. She told me she was pregnant and it was mine, two days after sleeping with me for the first and only time. Then proceeded to tell me she had a boyfriend. I should have twigged earlier, really. She flew from Norway to sleep with me and flew back the next day. Moving way too fast. One, maybe third date. Hey, I'm moving to La, and you should come with me another, maybe second or third date. I'm not on birth control and have the mindset of, if it happens, it happens another three, fourth date. We should get a dog together. I told each of them I think we want different things. It grosses me out when people take such a lackadaisical approach to reproducing. She had a set of golf clubs in a golf bag standing in the middle of her bedroom, right in the way of everything. After a few weeks of visits, I finally suggested that maybe she should put the clubs in her garage. Well, she didn't like my suggestion and basically came unglued at the idea that I would tell her how to live her life. So, I agreed. No one should tell you how to live your life. Bye. That was the end. My cat didn't like her brought her home to introduce her to my parents, she meets my childhood cat and it goes psychotic. Just for her reaching down to pat him, he panicked, attached himself to her arm and wouldn't let go, just clawing at her like he found a demon to fight or something. When he eventually detached himself, they were both running around the room screaming as she tried to wave him off her arm. I checked her over and he did some damage. He's never reacted like that to anyone before or since. We broke it off shortly later. I found out a few years ago she was in the court system. Why she tried to kill her own kid. I didn't dodge a bullet because of my cat. I dodged an artillery shell. That is some scary shit. Your cat may have saved your life. Probably did. He was a good little boy. Most of the time. Way back in college I was doing some training for a call center job and there was a super beautiful girl in my class. We got divided up into groups for something and got grouped together. Pretty much the first thing she did was start making fun of our disabled co-workers in another group, and on top of that she was dumb as a bag of rocks. Seriously, one of the most dumpster fire personalities I've ever encountered. Outside beauty can't make up for inside ugly. She asked really precise things about our future. Worst part was, she would talk me through building our future house, which color it should be, how she wants the kitchen to look like. Mm. This is our second date. Relax, relax. 
Third date and she was talking how she would like to get pregnant so we could have a kid after I graduated the year after. Third fucking date. Still don't understand how I didn't lope out at that exact moment. Took me four more dates to run. Went on a few dates with a girl who by all means was a perfect match for me. Kind-hearted, funny, hot and super into gaming and anime. On our third date, we did a double date with our ex-boyfriend, who I was friends with, and his new girlfriend. He brought up a story about a time she shit her pants, and she chimed in and told the whole story. Immature me was super grossed out and lost all attraction. That's probably exactly what the dude wanted to happen. Looking back, I cringe at the fact I dumped her. Her biggest flaw was that she was willing to tell a very embarrassing story in front of me. Lol, what an idiot I was. I had a very attractive co-worker whom I would get tongue-tied around because she was like young Audrey Hepburn level beautiful. One time, she made a really gross joke about shitting in her leggings and the attraction switch flipped off immediately. It was a relief, honestly, because I never remotely had a shot with her and was able to interact with her more professionally afterward. It worked as she intended. I love the idea that this girl is just so attractive she's had to come up with a binder full of disgusting stories to pull out on guys she's not interested in because they won't stop being creeps around her. Lumfo, respect for this queen. There is a couple. One person we went on a hike and they threw their energy drink can into a bush. I obviously made them pick it up and put it in the trash, but seeing that Hella turned me off. Another one they never cleaned their stretched ears so it would smell like rotting carcass. She would have a strong strawberry air freshener in her small flat with no windows open and served me hot sausage casserole. I went to the grocery store with her and it turns out she was one of those people with no awareness that is in everyone's way. I saw her kick her dog really hard. The dog didn't want to come back to her after. I didn't have to. She rummaged through my stuff, acting like she had the right. She chewed with her mouth open. In biology class, she kept laughing while stabbing a dead frog that we were supposed to dissect. Do you same? was back in high school too, and was mad into this girl I was partnered with. We even struck up a fun combo as the teacher was getting all the stuff ready. We had a fairly direct outline of what we were supposed to do and identify Nay. She slit the belly open and began just pulling everything out. I just sat there confused as fuck as to how savage she was going on this poor little formaldehyde adult punk Never talked to her again after that day and I considered it a blessing. Depends on how she went about it, but I've grown up with people raised on farm shunting fishing, and this sounds like something they would do my old neighbor would chat about anything while gutting cleaning a fish. At some point, I think it just becomes muscle memory, and now she's a world-renowned surgeon. I'm not sure if it was a weird reason, since I can't imagine anyone enjoying this, but her place reeked of old, stale animal piss. I had taken her home after a date, but I realized I really needed to hit the restroom. But she lived a solid 10-15 minute drive from civilization, so she agreed for me to use her toilet real quick. The moment I stepped through the front door, it was like a solid wall of stale animal piss punching me in the face. Did my best to not gag crossing through the whole house, being yipped at by two different rat dogs. Don't know how to spell it. Tiny, annoying, trembling, fearful bravery. And spotted at least two cats, I think, peering at me from behind furniture. Even had to hold my shirt over my nose while I was using the toilet. It was awful. Seriously, clean up after your pets. It's one thing if the accident happened while we were gone, but I've had animals before. Fresh shimi fresh smells different than stale and old. Rat dogs, chihuahuas. She went to ride a train, and after a homeless guy walked past, she screamed, you fucking stink, felt bad for the homeless dude. Holy shit, that's awful. That she smelled like soup. What kind of soup? We were sexting back and forth. Then one morning, she just sends me a photo of her tits covered in some other guy's load. We weren't exclusive, but nothing I'd said implied I'd be into that. And it 100% killed any interest I had in her. Gave me a good point to empathize with women, not wanting surprise dick pics. Even from guys they're seeing, though. I had a similar situation. I was talking to this girl. We were on and off friends and on and off more than friends. One day we were texting. It started getting a bit sexual and she starts sending me her nudes. Several of them, but they weren't selfies. 
They were taken of her on a bed from a clearly floating camera angle a few feet away from the bed. I asked who took these, and it started to crumble from there.